What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the title, I am finally back with another book box battle. I know, this is very, 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 very long overdue. Now, these are all January boxes, and I have four boxes to battle, so this is going to be another ultimate book box battle. There will be three rounds um, in which each round a box will be eliminated, and the boxes I have for you is good old trusty owl crate, fairy loot, Beacon Book Box, and this is my first time ever getting their subscription book box. I did get their Christmas special edition box, which I really enjoyed. So I did subscribe to them for a few months. And last but not least is Shelf Love Crate, and I will get into this in a minute. So those are the four boxes that I will be battling. But as you guys know, there really aren't any losers in these battles. It's like a battle of winners that don't lose but don't win. I, I don't know. Nobody really loses in this battle, but this is just for fun. But if you're interested, keep watching and let's get into for it. For round one, I'm going to battle Shelf Love Crate and Beacon Book Box. Full transparency, guys, I have already opened the Shelf Love Crate package because it came in this and not a box, and I had actually recently purchased some like past items from Shelf Love Crate, and I was like, did I not get everything? I couldn't quite remember because I have no self-control and buy stuff when I don't need to, so I honestly thought this was maybe something that I bought and forgot, which is fair, which it's fair. I, I would do that, but let me stop rambling and get to the unboxing. <laughs> So this is what it came in, this gigantic faux leather um, book sleeve. And it says, Break the Chains, Take What is Yours by Scott Rainting, right, right, Rainting Nixia. I butchered that per usual. But let's get in what is in the book sleeve. The first item is a... Hunger Games sticker, and it says, if we burn, you burn with us. I am a fan of the Hunger Games series. Again, I don't really collect stickers unless they're Harry Potter stickers, uh, but it is a very cool sticker. I love the design and how it has those like words on her face. So I will probably end up putting this in my giveaway box, but still not a bad item. Next, we had a wood bookmark, was Scythe wooden bookmark. Skyf? Did I say that right? Yes, I've not read that book either. <laughs> but I love bookmarks, especially wooden bookmarks, so I'm keeping it anyway for my bookmark collection. So this box didn't have any chess pieces, which is normally what we get as like their monthly item from Shelf Love Crate. So I don't know what their new monthly item will be, but they did include these little like portrait art prints. Um, and these are what they look like. I don't remember what fandom this was. Hold on. Red Rising Mug Shot Card Set. Um, I've never read that, so I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this. Again, if it would have been like a fandom or a series that I know and like, I probably would absolutely love these. They're really good art prints. Like, the detail is absolutely amazing. But, I mean, what would you do with these? Where would you put these? Display them on your wall, maybe? I I'm not sure. These will probably go in my giveaway box as well. We have a signed book plate. And the last item is Handmade Tail Socks. On the top, we have the Handmaid's Tail in their uniform, red uniform, white hat. And on the bottom, it says, What dost thou say? <laughs> oh, I love that. I just said uniforms. They should never have given us uniforms. <laughs> that is so true. So true. Oh, I'm so behind on that show. I need to catch up. And last but not least is the book that we got, and it's Ash Lords by Scott Rington. Rington? Why do I bother? Honestly though, just based on the cover, I don't think this would be a book that I would have picked out myself, but let's see what it looks like without. Hold the phone. 
did I not realize this? It has two covers, but this is what the book looks like without kind of gray with a black spine. That's upside down. And then Ash Lords in gold. This is the other cover. Ooh, nice. You guys will have to let me know which cover you liked more. So this was the first one, but I'm going to read the description real fast. Ever since the Ash Lords were gifted Phoenix horses by their gods, they raced them into battle or on hunts. And now at the world renowned races, elite riders from clashing cultures vie to be crowned champion by honing their ability to create and control Phoenix horses made of ash and alchemy, which are summoned back to life each sunrise and burst into flames each sunset. But good alchemy only matters if a rider knows how to survive the brutal nights. While murder is outlawed, breaking bones and poisoning ashes are legal, even encouraged. Eleven riders will complete in this year's races, but three of them have more to lose than the rest. A daughter of two former champions, a scholarship entrant, entrant? and the son of a revolutionary, which one will attain their dream of glory and win power for their people, or will they all flame out in defeat? Huh. Honestly, it doesn't sound like a book that I kind of gravitate to. Like, I like the Phoenix horses and everything. That sounds cool. But other than that, I honestly don't think this is a book that I would ever pick up. My TBR is so long. I probably will not read this for a very, very long time. It'll probably go with all of my other books on my shelf that I have not read yet. But if anybody has read this book, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. But guys, that was everything in the box bag. Um, let's take a quick look at this new spoiler card. It says Passport. Tells us a little bit about the author. Shelf Love Spotlight. That's really cool. Shows like Instagram and some YouTube. And then on the back, it just has all of the items they included. The handmade socks, the Nixia book sleeve. Nixia. Hmm. The Hunger Games sticker, the Scythe wooden bookmark, the Red Rising mug shot card set, and the bonus Shelf Love Crate exclusive dust jacket. So yeah, overall though, this is definitely not my favorite Shelf Love Crate that I've ever gotten. Honestly, I think the only things I really liked was the socks and the book sleeve. I did like the bookmark because I love bookmarks in general. I kind of have a collection going now. But the sticker and the mug shots, mug shot set and even the book... I don't really like definitely not my favorite shelf love crate that I've ever gotten but that was the first box let's move on to beacon book box sneak peek okay January theme is chaos in the court and spoilers on the back oh I already like the first item oh hold on let me take it out it is a black beanie and it says let them fear her Ooh, this is um Throne of Glass. This is Throne of Glass. I'm almost like a thousand percent positive. Oh, and it is so soft. Good quality. It's like embroidered on. Let's see what it looks like on. And this is what it looks like on. It's kind of a little bit big. I just have a small head. But it's very comfy and I just, oh, I love the blue. Like, yes. The blue and black look really great together. Doesn't look that great on. Again, it's just maybe the fit for me but good quality and I'm a fan so that is the first item they gave us a full wallet what and it says to whatever end heir of fire Sarah J Moss is this throne of glass too hold the phone guys this was not throne of glass Wow, this was Wicked Saints Beanie, which I have read Wicked Saints, and it's a very good book, um, and I get why they would say that. I don't know why that was giving me such strong feelings of Throne of Glass, but this is Sarah J. Moss, Air of Fire, so Ooh, this is like a good size wallet. Oh, and it even has like a little, what whatever this is called thing for your wrist what do they call this a wrist attachment for your wrist um but yeah this is really pretty it has some like flower design 
plenty of place for cards, your checkbook if you still use those, little coin pouch in the middle. Oh, I am such a fan of this. I currently have a Harry Potter wallet and I've had it for a very long time, so I might switch to this one. I'm just gonna keep the spoiler card next to me so I don't make a complete fool of myself. Next, it looks like we have like a gold metal bookmark. Wow. Wow. This is full like metal, gold. Like it looks like this was like made of gold. Like it has a crown and everything befitting a queen. And it says, words can lie, see beyond them. Red Queen Victoria Aviard? Aviard? But wow, this is freaking gorgeous. Like, wow. Again, I love bookmarks, especially ones made of pure gold. I'm so rich, I have a pure gold bookmark. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on, we have a red box. I'm assuming this is jewelry. Ooh, no, 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 it is another ornament. Wait, are these ornaments? We had one of these, it was a platform nine and three quarters in their Christmas box and it's like glass. Like this is glass. And it says, failure doesn't define you, Sabar to hear. What is that based off of? Ooh, an ember in the ashes ornament. And this is a monthly collectible. So we get these every month with Beacon Book Box. Wow, that is so pretty. Honestly, they're very heavy, and when I tried to put my platform nine and three quarters on my Christmas tree, it didn't want to stay, and I was very, very scared that it would, like, fall and break, especially because I have children and a cat who like to touch stuff, so I did not put it on my Christmas tree. So if they're going to do these every month, I honestly do not know what I'm going to do with them, but I don't even care. They're so freaking pretty, and I love Ember in the Ashes. I'm ready for the next book. Like, is it here yet? And next we have a full bottle of lotion. Curse Breaker Lotion. Coconut Lime Scented Body Lotion. And it has ingredients on the back, which I always appreciate. Let's give it a smell. I don't want a lot. Okay. Ooh, definitely smell the coconut. Ooh, I like it. I think this might be a lotion that I take to work because I wash my hands so much and during the winter they get so dry. So I am a fan of this lotion. Wow, this box kind of has a little bit of everything. Next, it looks like we have the recipe card, Bacon with the Beacons, and it's Kestrel's Savory Snack Mix. That is really cool. It looks like we also have a bookmark, I think for like a promotional book, When Stars Are Bright. So that is cool. And finally, we are to the book, which is Nameless Queen by Rebecca McLaughlin. I might have said that right. Probably not. And it says, Crowned by Chance, Rebel by Choice. Ooh, now this kind of looks like a book that I would gravitate to. Let's see what it looks like without. And it did come with a letter from the author, but it's just a red book with gold on the spine. And it is signed by the author. Okay, I'm going to read the description real fast. I wake up the same way I fell asleep. Knife in hand, boots for a pillow, and nameless. Everyone expected Esther East... Hmm. Esther? would inherit the throne she is king follows daughter or at least another royal or legal advisor no one expected me i shouldn't even be possible i'm nameless a class of citizens so disrespected we don't even get names heck dozens of us have been going missing for months and no one seems to care but there's no denying the tattoo emblazoned on my arm i am to be queen in a palace where the corridors are more dangerous than the streets, though, how could I possibly rule? And what will become of the nameless if I don't? The spellbinding story of one girl who must make a name for herself or die trying. That actually sounds really interesting. Definitely a book that I would 
be more likely to read than the book we got from Shelf Love Crate. But guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. The Air of Fire Wallet, a Curse So Dark and Lonely lotion. Oh, that was from a Curse So Dark and Lonely. Red Queen Metal Bookmark, an Ember in the Ashes Ornament, Wicked Saints Beanie, When Stars Are Bright Bookmark, the Bacon with the Beacons um, Snack Mix, the signed copy of Nameless Queen, and the Arthur Letter. Okay, so as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the wallet and beanie are my favorite items, but I also really liked the lotion, the bookmark, and the monthly ornament thing. So pretty much everything in the box I liked. <laughs> I'm very impressed with my first ever box from Beacon Book Box. I know a lot of you guys for a long time has been suggesting this box, so I'm glad that I was finally able to get one. Overall, I thought it was a very good rounded box with a lot of usable items. I didn't really have a least favorite item. Again, such a good box, which kind of makes round one of this ultimate book box battle very easy to decide. As you guys can probably already guess, Beacon Book Box won round one of this battle but will it be the ultimate winner I don't know but it does make it to round two meaning it is going to battle owl crates this is the spoiler card the theme of January was vengeance will be mine Ooh, spoilers on the back oh I forgot this is the box that has the next Harry Potter mug by Kara Kozak did I say that right oh, I'm so excited okay well this we're starting with this first I, I, ha I have to see it this is based off the Order of the Phoenix, Year 5, Harry Potter. So we have Grimrald Place over here. Then we have Dolores Umbridge Office with all of her stupid cat plates. Then we have the Thestrals with Harry and Luna. Then we have them at the Ministry of Magic with all of the prophecies fighting the Death Eaters. Ooh, and it even has the place where Sirius died, the Arch. Wow. I absolutely adore, 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 adore these cups. I only have two of them. I've missed the first three, which is so sad. And I missed the resale of the first three, which I hope they do again because I want them all. Great start to the box, Al Great. Next, it looks like we have some socks. This is Grishaverse Crooked Kingdom by Out of Prince. Let's see what they look like. Ooh. Very cool design. It has Crooked Kingdom on the bottom. And I actually really like the yellow and black. It works really well together. I am a fan of socks, so these are very cool. Next, we have a candle, and it's by A Court of Candles, and it says Lighter Orange Yuzi Evergreen Alcrate Exclusive. So just yellow with some sparkle. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I definitely smell the orange, which makes me love the smell of this candle. <sighs> Again, we do get a lot of candles. Like, I have a whole bin over there of just candles. And that's not even all of my candles in the bin. I have more just everywhere. But I do like the smell and the look of this. Uh, so, ooh, next we have a black owl crate pouch with their logo. Okay, so it's a little mirror, maybe? And it says, you've got words in your soul. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it does have a mirror, but it also has like three empty spaces where you can put stuff, I guess. I honestly don't know what I would put in here. Maybe like small earrings if you're traveling. I, I don't travel that much. Um, so honestly, I'm not quite sure what I would do with this. I honestly might put this in my giveaway box because I don't think I would get enough use out of this to warrant keeping it, if that makes sense. But still a cool item. Next we have, it looks like, a new pin banner. Ooh, this is a Lord of the Rings pin banner. We have the Desolation of Smog over here, and then we have Riverdale, Edge of the Wild, Misty Mountains, as you guys know, I am a big fan of the Lord of the Rings, so I absolutely adore this, and I always seem to need more pin banners. And next, it looks like we have our monthly pin, and it says, Blood to Blood, Name to Name, 
bone to bone and it has like a hand with cards and swords in there that sounds very intriguing for the book in this box because for those who don't know the enamel pins are based off the book that we get in the box so hmm but yay another enamel pin to add to my collection and last but not least is the book. This is an Outcrate exclusive signed edition as always. And it did come with a letter from the author, which I always like. And the book is Scavenge, Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. Am I saying that right? Scavenge? But I am a fan of the cover of this book and it should be signed by the author and it is. Let's see what it looks like without. So just a blue with silver on the spine. Okay, I'm going to read the description real fast. Ooh, this is a long one. When a Maya rescues a mysterious stranger from drowning, she fears her rash actions have earned her a longer sentence of the debtorship where she's been held captive for years. Instead, the man she saved offers her unimaginable riches, a new identity, and the promise of a retribution against Kaman Mercado the powerful merchant who ruined Amaya's family and stole the life she once had. Keo Marsado, heir to his father's empire, is well acquainted with the grit beneath the grandeur of Murray. In this opulent coastal city-state where the corrupt slum king pockets gold from desperate gamblers and deadly ash fever spreads like rot, Keo is desperate to shake his disreputable past. But when his sister falls ill, Keo will do anything to save her life, even if it means making a deal with the slum king. As Amaya and Kao become entangled in a dangerous game of deception, one of them set on protecting the Mercado family at any cost, and the other set on destroying it, they find themselves unexpectedly drawn to one another. But the more Amaya discovers about her past, the more she realizes she must trust no one. The first novel in a sweeping fantasy duology, this gender-swapping retelling of The Count of Monte Cristo, Christo is packed with high-stakes adventure, romance, dueling identities, and breathtaking betrayals, all brilliantly woven together by acclaimed author Tara Sim. Huh. This book kind of seems to have a little bit of everything. Like it said, romance, mystery, fighting. A lot is going on in this book, apparently. So yeah, this is probably another book that I probably wouldn't have picked out myself. But it does sound pretty good, so I will probably read it eventually. Um, <laughs> but that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at their pamphlet. As always, it has the interview with the author. And then it shows us the regular cover and then the Alcrate exclusive cover. Huh. I honestly think I like the regular one way more than the Alcrate one, which is rare. I generally always like the Alcrate cover more, but yeah, I like the regular one more. Which one do y'all like? Let me know. And it has interview with the vendor, which was in the reads. And a new thing that Alcrate is doing every month is giving us like a Spotify playlist kind of based off the theme of this book or the Count of Monte Crisco. So that's really cool. I've honestly not done it yet, but still very cool. The only thing I don't like about their new pamphlet is they don't give us a lot of detail about next month's box. The only thing we have is like the card they include. And it says the theme of the February box is a power within flip for sneak peek. Every February box will include a deck of playing cards inspired by Throne of Glass. Oh. Okay. Now, I already have three deck of cards based off book series, but Throne of Glass? Yes. I am excited. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Um, definitely for me, I think this was my least favorite item. Again, I just don't think I would get much use out of it. My favorite item, as you guys already know, is the mug, which I adore this so freaking much. But now the question is, which box won round two, Beacon Book Box or Alcrate. Surprisingly, I think I'm going to have to go with Beacon Book Box because the book from Beacon Book Box sounds like a book that I would want to read the most. Not that Alcrate was bad. Again, there are no losers in these battles. So that means Beacon Book Box makes it to the final round in which it'll be battling 
Fairy Loots. Now, Fairy Loots is one of the top contenders, I think, when it comes to book box subscriptions. So that's why I wanted to save it for last. Sneak peek. Ooh, I already see goodies. This is the spoiler card for Fairy Loots. The theme for January was Moon and Stars. Whew. You guys know I'm a big fan of Moon and Stars. So, spoilers on the back. And right off the bat, I see Moon and Star paper clips. So, I don't have a job that requires me to have paper clips at all. Uh, so, these are going to be used as bookmarks. But let's see what they look like. So, I am a fan of these. So, on one side, it's like a star. And on the other side, it's like a moon. I adore these. These are so freaking cute. Great start to the box. Next, we have... My Little Moon Trinket Dish. Ooh, okay. I have gotten quite a few trinket dishes in subscription boxes. Oh, but none like this. That is so freaking cute. It has that like rainbow effect and it says fairy loot on the bottom. Oh, I am such a fan of this. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I will definitely use this for earrings. It's not kind of big enough for like bracelets and like necklaces, I think. But I think this is like the perfect size for some earrings and stuff. Next we have Starry Fairy Lights. So I'm assuming these are fairy lights. I don't think I've ever gotten like fairy lights in a subscription box. Okay, I don't want to tangle these, but... This is kind of what they look like, just has little stars on there. I might try to like take a picture of it all lit up and stuff, but it doesn't look like it's very long. So it's not like one you would like drape around your bookshelf or anything, but it would probably be really cool for pictures, like for Instagram and stuff. So that is really cool. Again, I've never gotten anything like that. Next, it looks like we have a pillowcase. And this is what it looks like. That is so pretty. I love the moon with the books in there. And on the back it has a saying. It says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? Oscar Wilde? Wildy? That E is silent. Very cool. I think this is the most beautiful pillowcase that I have ever gotten in a subscription box. Again, I kind of wish it was like a regular full-size pillow that I could actually use on a daily instead of the more square decorative. But again, it is gorgeous and I am a fan. Next we have a notebook and it says, you have me until the last star in the galaxy dies. You have me, Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Annie Hoffman. Kaufman? Hoffman? trying to see my Illuminate books. I can't see that far. Is it Hoffman or Kaufman? I think it's Hoffman. But guys, look at this cover. Holy freaking rabies. That is gorgeous. Wowza. But it is just like a regular standard notebook with lines. I actually have a lot of notebooks, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is probably the prettiest notebook I own now and I adore it. I thought we were to the book, but no, there is more stuff. That is one thing I will say about Fairy Loot. They jam pack their boxes. We have our monthly tarot cards, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I honestly don't know what fandom this is per usual, but again, as always, the art is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wish I could draw. Next, we have two brown packages with the fairy loot logo on there they kind of rattle let's do the smaller one first moon phases necklace that is so freaking pretty this reminds me of g from book roast she actually works with fairy loot and everything and this totally seems like something she would put in this box and surprisingly enough guys i'm actually wearing my moon necklace let's see how long this is Cause I got a fat neck and I don't like short necklaces on me, obviously. So let's see, oh, it's kind of short. Oh, let's see, let's put it on. Okay, so this is very tight, guys. The chain is not long 
enough for my taste. Again, I have a fat neck. Like, it doesn't look bad, but it's just not comfortable on me. Like, I honestly feel like it's just choking me, and it's not, but I feel like it is. But, I mean, again, this is just personal preference. <laughs> come off guys wow I'm way too invested in this necklace <laughs> but let's get to the other brown package it's a enamel keychain with glow-in-the-dark effect Ooh, you guys know I'm a sucker for glow-in-the-dark so it's like a little dragon with the moon and stars in the background inspired by even the darkest of stars I have never read that and honestly I kind of thought this was like Spyro for a second <laughs> I really like this keychain. I like the shape of it, how the wing is kind of sticking out like the moon. And I'm interested to see if it actually glows in the dark. But finally, we are to the book. And as always, it did come with a letter from the author and the monthly bookmark with the same kind of design from our spoiler card. But it also came with stickers, woven in moonlight stickers with like a kind of Spanish theme. It has Hola Bonita. Uh, gracias, a llama, which kind of reminds me of Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> so yeah, some stickers. I will probably end up using these to decorate my planner, but let's get to the book, which is Woven in Moonlight by Isabel. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to try, guys. Isabel. But yeah, this is obviously kind of a Spanish themed book with a very colorful um, cover. And I do see kind of where these stickers came from. They have a lot of the same stuff that the cover has. Very pretty. Let's see what it looks like without. So just black and it has like imprint of moon and stars and then silver on the spine. But we also have a reverse dust jacket art. Ooh, kind of day and night kind of thing going on. I'm adoring this sloth. Like, so freaking cute. And it is signed by the author. Okay, I am going to read the description real fast. A lush tapestry of magic, romance, and a revolution drawing inspiration from Bolivian politics and history. Not gonna lie, history and politics are like my two least favorite things to read about. But let's continue. Uh, Zygmenia. Okay, uh, Zygmenia. Zygmenia is the decoy condessa, a stand-in for the last Romanian remaining Ill illustrian royal. Her people lost everything when the usurper Atok used an ancient relic to summon ghosts and drive the illustrians from La Sidad. Now, Zamina's motivated by her insatiable thirst for revenge and her rare ability to spin thread from moonlight. Ooh, that's cool. When Atok demands the real Condessa's hand in marriage, it's Zamina's duty to go in her stead. She relishes the chance as illustrian spies have reported that Atok's no longer carrying his deadly relic. If Zamina can find it, she can return the true aristocrata to their rightful place. She hunts for the relic using her weaving ability to hide messages and tapestries for the resistance. But when a masked vigilante, a warm-hearted princessa, and a thoughtful healer challenge Zamina, her mission becomes more complicated. There could be a way to overthrow the usurper without starting another war, but only if Zamina turns her back on revenge and her condessa. Wow, I'm pretty sure I butchered like every other word in that description. And again, it doesn't really sound like a book that I would pick out myself. So I don't know. I will definitely give it a chance and read it, but if you guys have read this, definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Honestly, the books this month in these boxes have not been my favorite. That's very surprising. But that is all of the items. Let's take a quick look at Fairy Scoop. Dun, 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 dun. We have the interview with the author. 
and it shows us the new exclusive copy of Woven in Moonlight. So this was the Fairy Loot one. This was the regular one. Again, I kind of think I like the darker cover a little bit more. Like, it looks like the only thing they did was changed it from black to a tannish color. I definitely think I like the black more. It kind of makes more sense with the moonlight. But again, both are pretty. Next month's theme is Rule Breakers. Ooh. You can expect a great selection of items inspired by Serpent and Dove, Sorcery of Thorns, Wicked Saints, The Lord of the Rings, and Nevernight. I love... Every single one of those. I just read Serpent and Dove this month. Or was that January? No, this month. Oh, guys, if you have not read Serpent and Dove, read it. Amazing. I could not put it down. It had like 700 something pages. Read it in two days. It was amazing. And it also says we are so excited to reveal that this box will also feature a beautiful ceramic mug that fans of Serpent and Dove will not want to miss. Ooh. Our feature book of this month is a swoon-worthy Slytherin romance where characters have unapologetically questionable morale morals. The main character has devised a plan to woo and marry the king only to kill him. The ed This edition will feature an exclusive cover, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, embossing, and will be signed by the author. Oh my gosh, you guys, that sounds amazing. Oh, heck to the yes. I am excited. But guys, as always, you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Um, hmm. This is a little harder because this box had a lot of really good items. Like the Illuminate notebook, which is just the really pretty pillowcase. It also had this gorgeous rainbow moon fairy lights and the really cool paper clips. So yeah, it's kind of hard to pick an absolute favorite item. But now the big question is, who is the ultimate winner for this book box battle? This is actually harder than I thought it would be um, because Beacon Book Box was very good. And there were a few things in Fairy Loot that I wasn't the biggest fan of, including the book. If it was just based on the book, I would definitely say Beacon Book Box. But overall, I'm gonna have to give it to Fairy Loot because this was such a good box. It was a very well thought out and rounded theme with items that were on theme. So I'm gonna have to give January to Fairy Loot, which means it is the winner for this <laughs> ultimate book box challenge. Again, are there losers? Not really. <laughs> but as always, you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with my decision? Do you think Fairy Loot should have won? Or do you think one of these other boxes should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> I swear I shed everywhere I'm like a dog <laughs> knock on wood <laughs> they're gonna be like you jinxed us tabby it will be three rounds I can't hot 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 <sighs> do I even have the book I'm saying that like I have the book <sighs> do I have the book maybe it's Kindle book. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I tucked them in my socks. That was probably TMI. Verse. So I guess we'll have to. Oh, it went down. Wet cover. And it's upside down. Up here. So JK for all of that. <sighs> I like the tassel. A full body, body, body. We have a body in that box. <laughs> we open. How do you open it? Open. Oh, you have to take this off. Oh my God. This is not food. Do not eat it. I love that they have to put that on a lotion bottle. <laughs> Woo. Sparkle. Meow. Yeah. Debtor ship debt debt done and imaginal <gasps> which is upside down. You a sneak peek. 
Oh. Might help if I cut it. <laughs> I know. Don't judge me. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I just throw it away. No! It was a lot of words. Hmm. <laughs>